same notion about PC and uh, PCE and PGNE. <laughs> a lot of times we'll, and I will talk about how it shows up on the bill, but a lot of times people will think Peninsula Clean Energy is an extra charge, but it's actually not. If you see it on your bill, that's how you know that you're saving on your energy bill. And exactly, that's the very reason why they have that uh, notion, that, you know, mm -hmm. because they, they make assumption based on their, you know, their bills. Yeah, yes. yeah, and the energy bill is very confusing, yeah. so <laughs> it, it's not easy to understand. Yeah. Are you going to say something? Yes. We have the generation which we have, let's say, the solar power. Mm -hmm. But then there is additional, which is bigger, in bills in delivery. Mm -hmm. We're paying for that. Let's say we have $20 for the generation mm -hmm. the solar panel, mm -hmm. but we're paying $100 for delivery. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry? Why is that? Yeah, so we'll, actually I can skip on a few slides just to show you what the energy bill looks like. And so the question is, you know, it sounds like if, if you have a, a solar solar panels and, and you're using your electricity from that and you're also getting electricity from Peninsula Clean Energy, so that was, we just said like $20 a month about, but the delivery charge is like really expensive, wow. uh, over $100. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and wow. so it's, yeah, that, that is, <laughs> it's, yeah, PG&E's charge for maintaining the grid. It's, for many reasons, very expensive to do that. They're kind of like catching up on some of the grid maintenance that they you know, need to be doing. The grid charges or delivery charges also includes things like, you know, wildfire preparedness and trimming the trees so that it doesn't cause any wildfires and and just like generally improving the electricity grid. And so we do find that the, the delivery charge of your bill is typically much higher than the actually energy that you're using. And so, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, we do get questions from solar customers who ask if, you know, can we just not be a PG&E customer and can we, you know, avoid that charge? But unfortunately, it's, yeah, not possible to do that. So you, yeah, unfortunately do have the higher charges for, for PG&E. Yeah, we, we, we're using the, the solar, mm -hmm. solar energy, mm -hmm. but we generally uh, um, have a better idea of making money out of us by charging the delivery, <coughs> which uh -huh. is more than the energy that we take from solar panels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the delivery Any fee is quite expensive. I yeah, unfortunately I don't I, I'm not with PG and E so I can't really comment on, on that part of the bill. But I do know that that is usually like two thirds of the energy bill at least goes to delivery and then yeah, with it you know, PG and E is regulated and, and so they yeah, they that's the, the charge that they're allowed to charge. Maybe we have we have our very own brother, Mark Esquera, who works for, for I think he's a, he's a, a member of the management of PGE. Uh -huh. Maybe one day we'll invite him to, to explain about that. I think he's not the he's not but he has he has some knowledge about PGE because mm -hmm. he I think he was a director or vice president of a certain program mm -hmm. of PGE. And he's yeah. a member of uh, this uh, uh -huh. this uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. so maybe it's a good uh, you know it's a good uh, uh, you know it's something to think about, you know, invite yeah. someone so that we can have a better, you know, a clear understanding why, you know, to understand what that 150 is, you know, set uh, delivery, mm -hmm. so, but, you know, because we understand that, you know, uh, Peninsula Clean Energy is into the generation of the, mm -hmm. you know, the energy, so. so it's just like, hey, you had babies there riding on the limousine, <laughs> because the limousine is expensive. <laughs> The, the limousine conveys you to the uh, destination on a very expensive, you know, pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thank you for your questions and we'll, yeah, definitely, hope, I, I think it's a great idea. If you have a contact at pg &E, they would be able to give you more insight on, on that part of the bill better than I would be able to. We work on that part Yeah, great point and observation. So I'm going to take this a little bit back just 
so make sure that everyone kind of understood what part of the bill we were referencing just now. And so any other questions about how it all works with Peninsula Clean Energy and PG&E and you all as residents? Uh, how does uh, generation from Peninsula Clean Energy produce its uh, energy? Is it by solar or wind? Yep, all of the above. Oh. So we source our energy from 100% clean sources, and so that means that the energy that we provide is coming from things like solar or wind, hydropower, as well as geothermal, which is using the Earth's heat to create energy. And all of that energy produces very little pollution and greenhouse gas emissions that is the root cause of climate change. So you are using We are. There's, yeah, Is sometimes the people. Ones, uh, solar farm? We've, yeah, so we, we don't own the solar farm. So, you're with them. so yeah, you, can, you could say that. It's kind of like our community, our elected officials saying, you know, we want to be able to decide where we get our energy from. And so, before Peninsula Clean Energy, everyone had to get their energy generation from PG&E. And so, we were formed when the elected officials and San Mateo County came together and they said, you know, we want to have a choice and we want to be able to choose to get energy from clean sources. And so, yeah, essentially we, we do purchase the electricity from our residents. It's by pulling everyone's demand, we can have it you know, be less expensive. And so it's kind of like a buyer, buyer's co-op is sometimes how we describe it. We basically, per, by purchasing energy on behalf of everyone, it lowers the prices. Yeah. Did you have another question around that? Okay. Uh, probably uh, the, the follow-up question is, what yeah. are the plans of the, you know, where, do, where are these, uh, you know, energy generated? Mm -hmm. What are the plans? Like, do we have the windmill uh, place? Mm -hmm. Do we have the, the solar panels location? Yeah. Yeah, they're mostly in California. None of them are, are too local because it's, very, land here is very expensive, and so it's expensive to have you know, a solar farm or a wind farm here. But the yeah, sources are throughout California. I can, yeah, I can show you where that information is on our website. And there's, there's a map that shows where the different, the different solar farms or wind farms are located. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's why, you know, when I was explaining to, you know, to some of, you know, uh, residents about this, they thought that you know those uh, uh, solar panels they see from schools, you know, from mm -hmm. the, uh, the sources of this. Yeah. So. Yeah, we do work with. We do have a program where we're working with schools or with yeah. government buildings to install solar on their roofs. But most of our energy comes from the bigger, you know, bigger uh, solar farms that are outside of uh, our county. Mm -hmm. So two things mm -hmm. is the PG&E buying the generation from you or you're selling the generation to PGME or, or you're just using PGME as their grid. Yeah, so the second. And so the we don't one for yeah. using so if if anybody has a solar panel array mm -hmm. and they have a surplus of power, is that something that they can get a rebate or or cover up for the next? Like, you know, I built my own I have my own farm here and I can generate my own like independent contracting for that one. Is that something that you are doing right now? Yeah, and are you talking about just residents having, like homeowners Surplus. having? Yeah, so if you have a solar system on your home and you provide, or you produce more electricity yeah. than you consume, then you can sell it back to Peninsula Clean Energy. And so that's, oh. if you're on the solar Is that ele energy the bill or? How is that how is that gonna work? Like, yeah. Does it go to the bill like oh yeah. I have a rebate for this? 